Drew Scanlon, ask me anything about Task Force 29. Uh, is it a 1960s World War II movie? No. Is it a Harrison Ford movie? No. I'm out of questions. Okay, great. This is Deus Ex Mankind Divided, where I play as Adam Jensen, who is working with Task Force 29. Okay. But that's not all. I'm also working with other people. What? I'm working for myself. You're... D I'm an... I got guns how, in my inventory. How many agents are you? <clears throat> I am a, I'm a triple agent, maybe? I don't okay. know. Yeah, so I, I'm Adam Jensen, uh, star of the previous uh, Deus Ex game, and I am back here to wander around Prague and non-lethally take people out. Okay, that is a Jeff Gersman directive. Yeah, I mean, I could leave, I could hold down the button longer and and lethally take people out if I mm. like. Uh, but okay. this is the Xbox One version of the game, um, and we're pretty early on here. This is after some of the stuff they showed us. Uh, <laughs> so these your friends? Not that long ago. Yeah, this is uh, this is my posse here. We're here in my apartment. <laughs> Whoa! These are my friends. Ooh. Multi-tool, what, what tool, what does that do? Uh, Multi-tool is used for hacking things. Okay. So if I uh, find a level five uh, keypad and I'm not level five in hacking here on my stuff, which mm -hmm. I'm not, uh, and I want to get in, I can use a multi-tool to one-time use item. Oh. Um, and, uh, and get into that thing. And then you can craft multi-tools with crafting parts okay. that you find around the world uh, and stuff like that. Wow. So yeah, this is uh, pretty similar to the last uh, Deus Ex game. They've bolted a lot of systems on here. I don't want to spend too much time in the menus here, but uh, let's look at the tech tree a little bit here. So uh, a lot of these augments you uh, will be familiar to people that have played the previous game. Okay. Uh, Which this, was not me, so apologies yeah, if I asked yeah. a lot of questions. Um, so it's stuff like this one is for you know double takedowns instead of single. You see over there in the window there, he's murdering mm, two men at once. You want some too? Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, armor that makes it so I just take less damage. I can turn invisible. I can jump high and, uh, you know, that sort of stuff. I can Robot pick up heavy objects. Can jump. Uh, yes. Uh, I can mark targets. I can, uh, I can have smart vision as an active augment. I can show vision cones on my radar, which I think I have. Yes, I, I got that one because that's useful. Um, for stealthing, uh, but there's, oh, sorry. There's also these new augments, experimental augs. Hmm. Like the peps, which is a, you know, it's, it's a, like a little air knockback thing that'll knock people down. Uh, and then you've also got remote, remote hacking. The Tesla, which is a, you know, distant, uh, non-lethal takedown. You can launch the nano blade if you like. Those all seem pretty useful. Uh, you know, I uh, did not find them all that useful. Okay. Also, they come at a cost here at this point in the game. You see, my system status is uh, stable right now, down right. there at 100%. When you turn these experimental ones on, it causes more heat, so you mm. then have to disable uh, some of these other categories to balance it out. Okay. Uh, lest you run into some glitching. Uh, There's also a process you can go through to kind of eliminate you don't those want, sorts of restrictions. You don't want that when it's your body <clears throat> glitching out. No, no, definitely not. Uh, there are laptops and things you can read. If we want to read about... Uh, uh, the trench coat that uh, Adam Jensen wears. This is it's being, <laughs> and I it's, do. It's being, it's being shipped in here. Oh, great! That sort of stuff. So uh, yeah, we're here at the apartment. We've done a few key early things, and we're just about ready to report to work at Task Force Twenty Nine. Uh, but first, we're going to make a phone call to our old friend David Seraf. Adam, what's going on? I didn't expect to hear from you. I didn't expect my doctor to find dormant augs hidden in my system. What? What? Dormant what yeah. experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! Look, my coach put augs in me. He said it was just medicine. Yeah. What, uh, what exactly did you find? Experimental test dogs spliced into my system. Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? God, yeah, so he didn't know he had these experimental logs. It's impossible. It was just a concept. Has, have they been in there the whole time? We don't know. That we don't know. That's hmm. that's a great question. It was uh, one I wish was maybe better resolved. Three years ago, and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have. Is this uh, near the beginning? Yeah, this is this is very close to the beginning. Okay. Uh, so we can we can you know we can button through some of the stuff, but we'll at least go through the conversation so that so that he has the knowledge in case it comes up later. Okay. I've got to find this guy. 
Adam, let me try. I'm leaving for lunch. Seraphin. He's trying to find the guy who put the augs in him? Yeah, he's like, hey. Is it Peter Stormare? So, so someone, Contact so the, the design of the test augs points to a person that mm. Seraph is aware of. and I never felt right about losing touch with you after pitch. And, uh, you know, when Seraph wants to do right by you a little bit after, after the events of the previous that. game, so. How did you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Kind of like the Bourne movie. Nobody knew who I was. Yeah. For a long time, neither did I. Kind of like the Bourne movie. Yeah. So there are two factions. Well, it's not even necessarily factions I mean, at play here. But uh, so in addition to Task Force 29, which is an Interpol task force that I'm working for uh, to kind of stop terrorism and, and all this, you know, post augmented human world, things are kind of crazy. Um, but there's also the Juggernaut Collective, which is a collection of hackers that we have hooked up with, and they, you know, they, they, everyone knows there's a conspiracy out there, the Illuminati. Mm. And so it's a matter of like, is this task force on the level? Yes, no, maybe, we don't know. About these hackers? Uh, are they these, on the yeah, level? Yeah, they on the level. Hey, you know what? No one is sure mm. about anyone else uh, when conspiracy is the main hook of your video game. Just put trash everywhere. Yeah, uh, when in doubt, uh, put trash everywhere. So this is Prague, that's my apartment. Uh, I'm just, just the Prague just equivalent leave, of the, uh, the creek? Yeah, kinda, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this door open for the duration of the entire game. What? Uh, and also here's a door I hacked open earlier and it's gonna remain open for the rest <laughs> of the game. Um, so, you know, uh, oh, okay, I have upgraded my hacking, so now we can attempt to hack. See, a similar hacking mini game to what you saw before. Okay. Uh, in, the, in the previous game. I need to try to get to these two points, uh, Ooh, but... Make a back of your registry first. Yeah, I'm... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I might not be able to actually... Well, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. Okay. So I've been detected. That means that there's time ticking down and we're definitely not going to make it. Uh, because we have to get to both of these things and our, our hacking skills are just not up to Access snuff here. Denied. So we're not gonna be able to get into this laptop right now very easily. I could use that multi-tool. I can burn that multi-tool here. And then did it uh, lock you out? Uh, so I, it, it locks me out for a time and you get five attempts. Mm, got it. Um, so you really have to screw up a lot to get locked out of a, a thing in this game. Um, a lot of graffiti around here. This is not a, Well, this apartment is, is, this is some stuff going on whoa, here. Whoa, yes. Future cults. Yeah. Future cults, the cult of the, mach the, of the machine god. That comes into play later. Okay. Everything comes into play later, mm. almost. It's almost like they're setting it up in, in a sort of beginning fashion and then going to reveal things later yeah. in a story. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I primarily, I, I, I finished this game mostly on the PC. Uh, spent time with the other versions of the game though as okay. well. How does this look compared to that? Uh, you know, worse. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this version's a little grungy, a little grimy. I think even just some of the text on the menus doesn't look as slick as it does on other platforms, okay. which, uh, you know, so here's a rating two. Maybe we'll have a better luck getting into this one. So if we look at, that's a one way thing. Uh, there you go there, there go there. So this, assuming there's, oh, there's one down here too. So we have to go both ways. Uh, we might still get this one. Trace program initiated. Uh, so how are you making decisions about which directory to go for? I'm pushing in the direction of these globes, which these registries here are what gets you access. So you need to take control of those globes to win. Okay. And so I'm just looking at the, I'm tracing back the maze. And you're like, okay, I need to move this direction, this direction, this direction. And is it random when you get detected? Yes, uh, there's a, a dice roll basically, and you can upgrade your stealth hacking abilities mm. uh, to reduce the likelihood of you getting okay. caught. Oh, it's VCRs. Yeah, sweet VCRs. Uh, so, oh, my inventory is full. Yeah, I gotta sell some stuff. I gotta sell some stuff. I gotta sell some stuff. You should probably sell some stuff. I'm do, you gonna, to, do you have to go to a vendor to do that? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna run up here and sell some stuff real quick. Uh, yeah. A lot of hacker you looking dudes just hanging out in this up front. Yeah. place. just kind of motions to the laptop. Yeah. Like, I'm here to sell illegal goods, but first of all, Trank rifle ammo, I am never gonna have a tranquilizer rifle. No? No. I'm a stun gun kind of person here. Okay. Short range, non-lethal. 
personal. Uh, but, but also the shotgun is useful That's for a sweet looking shotgun. when things get a little rotten. The grenade launcher is not something I'm ever going to need. And the credits would be useful, so we'll clear up some inventory space that way. When I spend more points on augments, on more strength stuff, the rest of that uh, right side of the inventory opens up. Okay, cool. Can you up upgrade guns directly? Yes, okay. uh, so the, in, in a couple of different ways here. So I can buy this laser targeting system and attach it to any one of the weapons nice. to enhance, you know, its accuracy. Um, I can attach a scope. That, um, that, that text on the right probably says something about that. Okay. Uh, but there are also just straight up stats for the guns. And if we get out of this. I have everything I need. Then get lost, you waste my time. I just sold you a grenade launcher, dude. <laughs> Dick. Um, so with these same crafting parts that I can use to craft this stuff, I can go into the guns and I can actually spend those to unlock like a burst fire option for this shotgun. Oh, okay. I can raise the damage output ammo capacity rate of fire. Uh, so that's that's on a per gun basis. Cool. What do they call your creds? I think they're just, it's whatever that symbol is. I don't actually know. Mm. V dollars? Yeah, V bucks. Okay, um, so we're done here, at least for, for the time being. So we can kind of head out of our apartment complex. Let's go see this guy. Hey, what do you need? This guy's got information and he needs neuropazine. So we're gonna trade him drugs for info. Mm. Sophisticated choice and just get all of it. Excellent choice. This guy will give us kind of pointers to some side day. stuff. Uh, some like, oh, hey, there's an apartment full of money here. And he's going to give us this little pocket secretary that when we read it, it's going to be this garbled thing that's like, hey, building 37, something, 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 something. Maybe there's something there. Uh, so you might stumble onto some. It's like a police report or something? Yeah, that one looked like it was a police report, yeah. Hmm. Um, and you see it goes in the, into my quest log as a point of interest. Okay. Uh, so should we want to go there, we can. And then we got this other one here. That's uh, just a code for a storage locker. And uh, yeah, we'll see. So we're going to go check in with Task Force 29. So we have an, a whisper chip on us. Uh, given to us by the hackers, they want us to install at our task force base so they can spy on them. Hmm. Because we're, you know, we're trying to find out if uh, if they're on the up and up or not. Okay. Uh, you know, I should I should actually run out of here real quick and just show you, like, so to give you a sense of where things are. In the last game, um, there was a problem with augmented people, cyborgs, people with robot arms, eyes, all that sort of stuff, like us. Uh, where a signal got transmitted that made them all fly into murderous rages for a brief period of time. I see. And you stop that from happening, uh, but it does happen for a while. So a society that was already very mistrustful of augmented people then kind of went into full-on racism, and Prague is kind of ground zero in the story uh, for that sort of stuff. Uh, so you can see they've got separate train entrances for naturals and augs. Um, so, you know, th this this story is really kind of about that type of discrimination mm -hmm. uh, along the way. And, you know, political dealings and, you know, it really is just this, like, tale of governmental corporate espionage at the, okay. at the, at the core of it. Um, but it's a setting from where a bunch of story things can spring? Exactly, yes. Okay. So, you know, some of your human, like, like uh, some of your side stories and stuff launch out of those sorts of ideas. You know, these guys are actually, I, I think these guys actually get a little bummed out if I hack panels near them. Mm. So we're not going to hack our way through the train station just yet. We don't even need to. Easy money. <laughs> um, we're just going to go up to the train map. So Prague is divided into separate areas here. Um, but you do spend the majority of the game running around Prague. Okay. And it's not an open world game. It's more of a... I can go to any one of these stations at any time. There's just not that much. Well, you know, I can stumble onto side stuff. Right. Okay. Yes, it's not contiguous. I could not run this distance. Right. Loading. Do you like my trench coat? Yeah, I just got this trench coat. I asked for this. It was, uh, I wanted the collar to be a certain way, you know, up. Namely, up. I think they sell that trench coat in 
real life. Uh, uh, wow. If you, if you want to really... I'm not sure if I, I could pull it off. I mean, it looks like a nice... lifestyle. Okay. Boy. What? Jeff, you've got a future in copywriting. Yeah. Well... Uh, but there is a, like, uh, video you can watch at the beginning of this. Yeah, so if you haven't played the previous game, uh, or even if you were like me and you did, but you played it, like, five years ago, mm -hmm. uh, there's, like, a 12-minute video uh, that recaps the events of the last game, and it's very effective. Okay. You think someone could just watch that and jump right in? I think so. Okay. You know, you might have some questions that a wiki could then answer for you if it came down to it, but... Uh, Hand it over. You better hope all your paperwork is in order, Hanser. An unauthorized claim. Hanser? They've got a, a couple of racial slurs style things right. for augmented people. I don't get that one. It's probably a different language. BH847. You must have some kind of super weapon under the hood. What I have is a job to do. Well, do and not no let me keep you there. Get moving, asshole. I could murder him right now. Hmm. I could touch, I could hold down a button and kill this man. I mean, he's just got some misplaced rage. Yeah, we all do. Um, tube house. Tube house. We can kind of, you know, we can, that's going to set off an alarm, but, uh, but we can do it. Hey, what's up? Hi. Hi. Uh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. That didn't actually activate anyone, which is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> uh, your current status with the guards and such will be listed under the radar. It'll say like, suspicious, hostile, that mm. sort of stuff. Okay. Um, like looking for you. Yeah, basically. Okay. Um, so let's, you know, we can we can walk around a little bit. You know, a lot of these people, you can you can talk to anybody. But you know, oh, okay. not all of them are going to have relevant stuff to say. You will occasionally hear about a side thing or. Um, but generally speaking. Hanser's burn in hell. Mm. Very subtle. I just gave you. Fine. It's nine JT. I'm sorry. What? Wait, is that a big mouth Billy Bass on the wall? Okay. I mean, it's, it's not really singing. No. And just kind of play some music. This is a terrifying future, Jeff. Ooh. Alex, this whisper chip you gave me, it's an easy plant. You're heading into TF-29 already? Our enemies aren't waiting around while we lick our wounds. Fair enough. There'll be a data port on the NSN's motherboard. Access it and then just plug and play. Or plug and record in this case. Got it. I'll let you know when it's done. All right, so this okay. is the underground headquarters of the uh, Interpol task force. I like this, uh, like, cyber future next to cobblestones that yeah, Prague has so, going yeah. here. Yeah, I mean, you know, they've got cells down here that are just real grimy. Yeah. It's Hannibal Lecter in the next one. Yeah. What's in that toilet? Great. Yep. Proper video game. Get some XP off the Z-Book. All right, we leveled up. What's Praxis? Uh, Praxis is what you spend uh, to... Uh, you spend your Praxis points here okay. to, you know, level up and such. Uh, it'll cost two points to crack a new category, uh, but one to just upgrade within that category. All right. Saving for something? Yeah, I might... Uh, well... You know, this early in the game, there's, you know, I've already got the speech thing uh, that they had in the last game that's like, here's what to say to uh, tell this person what they want to hear and get them to calm down. 
So you can kind of avoid fights with this sort of stuff okay. or, or get the outcome you're, you're probably looking for with this sort of thing. Uh, you know, better battery stuff, better health stuff, uh, better strength, so that's more inventory. I already upgraded uh, so I can punch through walls, which that's is handy. That's pretty sweet. Um, that's only, uh, there are, are some walls that have weak uh, structural weaknesses and stuff like that that you want, to, you want that sort of stuff. Uh, so I don't actually have any active augments. That's what that thing in the lower left is. That's like if I had could turn invisible or, oh. or or that sort of stuff. That would all be on. So you're all just specking passive then. Yeah, yeah. So I've been specking for the passive stuff, um, which I have found to be just more useful generally. Um, like the stealth is not that tricky. So you see there, I got through that one without getting detected at all. Nice. I don't really get anything extra for that, but. Um, so I can turn off all these cameras, which I'm going to do because I'm theoretically going to, well, none of these actually. I, I don't have the upgrade to disable turrets, uh, but I can open some doors. Which I think I just opened the doors to those cells yeah. that are down there, but can we just go down there and talk to this guy? Does he have anything to say? Enjoy. Yeah, have fun. Unlock your cell. Just to make this that much more excruciating. Um, yes, yeah, so this is our first time in the game to be in this location. So okay. I think, you know, as we kind of go around, we'll probably see some... On your name, bro. That'll be fine. Oh, see, that's a level five to hack into the psychiatrist's computer. Mm. Got some booze in there. Money. Just stealing shit. Good game for that. Yeah, it's yeah. You're you're constantly just running around, just taking stuff. I'll take this. Uh, it's, uh, you know. Hmm. Yeah. So these augmented dudes with gold masks raided your last. Uh, the tutorial mission is this uh, Dubai mission. Uh, that uh, things went south. Let's uh, head upstairs. Actually, wait, is this... Uh... There was another attempt to breach our firewall last night. Oh, no. It was me. It was me that did it. I'm stealing that. What? I'm crawling through this ventilation duct. <laughs> I set up. Okay. No. Now I'm in here. Are okay. they smart enough to like see you with their eyes? Yes. Okay. Uh, you can see the vision cones and stuff up there. Oh, sure. Uh, as well. Is that a green because you hacked that camera? Um, I think so, yeah. Okay. Also, that camera is in a different room, so I don't think it would see me here anyway. Got it. Um, let's uh, hack some stuff. Granted. All right, so now we have some passwords to these people's computers, which will come in handy. So it'll automatically pull this stuff up if I ever get to their computer. Oh, cool. You don't uh, have to dig through it or yeah, write it down. Yeah, I want to like dig through a log and go, wait, what was that? What was that? What was yeah. that? Um, which is which is handy. Yeah. Stop oh. worm. That's uh, for you know when you're when you're doing some hacking, if you want to stop the clock and have a little more time to do stuff. You can do that. This is where the guy was just telling us about that firewall thing, and now we're over here hacking computers. Anomaly detected. Access granted. So, I mean, you can you can read all this stuff, or if you just if you just view everything and then back out, you'll get all you'll the get all the stuff. Okay. You know, you might not know where those codes go, but. Uh, the game isn't always super clear about telling you where that stuff is anyway, right, so. that's fine. Um, and I think, 
you know, I didn't actually find it until super late in the game, but I have an office in here somewhere. Really? Yeah. Not security, not the infirmary. Uh, maybe it's upstairs. Can you hack your own computer? I think I just can get into it. Adam, you're here, you made it in. That's good to see you're okay. Hey, Aria, yeah, it was a close call. I we are lucky. talking to each other a lot of yes. in the same room. We are having a conversation right now. In. It was chaos. Phones ringing off the hook, people yelling, scrambling to find out what was going on. Then when Miller told me you were there, I... I'm all right. Good. You looking for him? Because he's tied up right now, a meeting with Leon, I think. Really? He's using the NSN right now? The thing yeah, I'm here to hack? <laughs> oh, hey, that reminds me, here's yours. What's this? The card for the shooting range. Chang changed all the codes this morning, said something about only giving access to people he's vetted personally. The bombing really freaked him out. Third one in six months, can you believe it? I just... I'm really glad you're okay. Thanks, Aria. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Yeah, I better get back downstairs. It's gonna be a busy day. Come by later if you At want to. At hockey practice? Uh-huh. Copy that. Copy that. This guy wanted to see us. I think that was the guy that was on the overhead. Jensen, I heard about the explosion. We should relocate. I was thinking we could corner Director Miller together. Tell him, tell him it's just, it's not safe enough here. We're fine, Chang. The police station, the train station, we're next. I can feel it. I can more than feel it. I can see it happening. No one knows where we are. There's no reason to get paranoid. That's where you're wrong. They're trying to pull the lid off of us, Jensen, or someone mm -hmm. is. Praha Dovos just got hacked. No, it was front company. Thought it was fake. I wish it was fake. Is there, there any, uh... The telecam footage from the attack to help Anything to indicate that... Are. Maybe Meanwhile, you maybe they're trying to figure out like don't are. remember yeah, stuff, and maybe you did stuff before. Are they like leading you in that direction? Um, no, yeah, not it's really. Down here. We have you have some lost time uh, okay. in between the, the events of the previous game and this one, and that's presumably when the ghost, the crazy augments, got put in you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need more. I don't know for sure. You really think? If someone points a... Such as? Do you have 29 likes? Sure. More... <laughs> no, yeah, my guess? The, the, problem? Yeah. Agreed. Which, like, I feel I this need to exhaust all the options, even those. if we're not gonna... Hey, hey, don't say shit like that. Uh, when you were, uh, playing the game, did you... you find out as much as you can... Listen to everything? New. Yeah, okay. I did. Make sure we're not in danger. Good performances? Yeah, there's, you know, the the yeah, guy who's using the NSN right now, who is your boss here, I actually thought floor, he was pretty bad a lot, of a lot of the time. This guy walks by us every single but, day, uh, probably walks in. You're kidding. His motherboard's behind him. I think so. Anti-static bags. Yeah. I'll look into it. As soon as I know. Okay. Um, so. This is where we're trying to get to, so we can do our dirty business. Um, this is the boss's office. I think Singh's got some kind of adrenaline. Yeah. Okay. Here's here's my office. I didn't find this till after I'd finished the game. I, didn't, <laughs> I never went into this room once. Oh, there's you ordering drugs. So yeah, uh, it's, so this this just to sum up this email, people that get augments need this neuropazine drug because the bodies rejects reject the augments. Oh. Uh, but Jensen's body does not reject the augments, so people are in disbelief when he says he does not need the drug. Ah, and that is mysterious. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you know, he's been worked on by. He's got crazy shit in him. You know, better augments than than most of the public would certainly have. So. All right, so even though there's a camera pointing at this, we're just gonna go in. Yeah, hey, you're, you're, you're supposed to be here. You're yeah, in office I work here. Yeah, on NSN Messenger. Mm-hmm. 
So you can see he's he's over there in cyberspace. Oh. In the machine. Playing Elite Dangerous. Yeah. Uh, so we actually, okay, so we have the password here. Auto-complete, enter. So, get a little, little, little tidbit of info there. Mm. Nothing, nothing that meaningful. Uh, and then we can hack this. Or I think we can actually just do this. No, you know what, I think this leads out. I think that leads mm. out, so let's hack this. Okay, we need those two. So we need boom, boom, boom. Uh, we just basically need to go across both sides here. Um, I, I'm, I'm still failing to see where the game is in here. So I'm trying to get in a direct, it's, 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 you're not really making a ton of choices. There are, uh, this data store will have money or extra software or something like that in there if I can get there, should I so choose. Uh, but you know, it's, didn't really have a, a, a need to. The numbers uh, being higher mean they'll be harder to hack, and you see my capture detection is higher on this level two than it is on this level one. Okay. Um, so basically, I just need to hack both of these to win. And I can't just hit the button on them, I need to get get over there in that direction. Sometimes that you have some- takes time to do. Yes, and that's that takes a little time to do. And if I, if I set off the trace by have, failing the dice roll on this capture detection thing, then I need to do it very quickly. So it's, it's you know, helpful to know which direction I'm moving in. So we're just gonna fucking just go. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Okay. Okay, so what do we got here? Anything worth stealing? Just pick this up and throw it around and <laughs> Some more hot softs. I like that software is on like tapes. Yeah. All right. So we've uh. Oops. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, chip is in. Weird. It's already picking up a freak. Jesus, Adam is Miller in there right now? Shit. Gotta go. Jensen, I need to see you now. That's the boss guy that I think doesn't have a great voice. Mm. All right, anything over here worth taking? Yeah, I just, I pack rat in this game. I just want to fucking go around and take every sure. single thing I can, you know? Uh, especially, you know, you're selling it, you're, you're doing stuff, right? Oh, wait, 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 how about I take the executive exit? Uh, mm, so I don't think bad. I expected the direction of being, of this being, not a problem, but if I just run, it'll be fine. Burns. Okay. Jensen, that, we saw you go in this no, room, but never come out. No, I'm just, uh, I was heading up around the corner here oh. and uh, heading into your office to see uh, you, sir. Hello, hi. Agent Jensen reporting for duty, sir. Tried to do it earlier, but you were on a conference call. Yeah, I was. Should I be worried about you, Jensen? Sorry. That blow you took to your systems. It's not messing with your head or anything, making you do things. I'm not gonna go crazy and start attacking people, if that's what you're worried about. You've been checked out then. The problem with your orbs is gone. I took care of it. Good, good. God knows with all that's happened, I need you at 100% right now. You sounded pissed when you called me in. Everything okay? Don't ever leave the field, Jensen. You'll regret it. As soon as you strap a desk to your ass, you'll be swimming in goddamn politics. We are to swim that way. The boss is giving you trouble. I'm a robot what? man. Oh, that. No, the trouble state police. They're pushing us out of the Razika investigation. I want you over there to make sure that doesn't happen. You're putting me on the train station attack? Not Dubai? Forget Dubai. MacReady's handling it. Good. Thought I'd have to fight him to let me handle this one. Whoever planted those bombs yesterday has. Do we know yet who planted the bombs? Uh, no. Mm. I mean, I know because I played the game before. Right. But no. Scene. Adam Jensen does not. No. The the after this tutorial, you are in the train station when it is attacked by terrorists. And 
because that messes up your augs, which is why you go through this early game thing to get your augs fixed, and then that's when you discover the crazy stealth augs, and here we are. Yeah, well, the former director of their security... Okay, you know, they're going to go back and forth about So there's ARC, the Augmented Rights Coalition. That's a, a faction that comes into play over the course of the game. But let's uh, see if we can get out there into the field and maybe just go fuck some shit up. That sounds great. I don't need a shrimp. Convenient because. So how do I get to resume? I have your computer already. It's it cool. will for you once I make a phone call. Head to the metro and call me when you're there. Can I steal everything in your office? Not my turtleneck. <laughs> okay, if that's IT, then this is the way out. The ladies' room. Uh, I took the long way. Alex, did we get anything from the Whisper chip? We got something, but Janus provided the wrong algorithm for the frequencies, so they aren't getting deciphered correctly. Can you fix it? I'm a pilot, not a programmer. I can do it, but it's gonna take some time. In the meantime, let's, uh... Hmm. Well, I feel like I should get, like, one active augment just to show that off. Yeah. Um, let's get smart vision. So that lets you see through walls. Cool. Can't believe... Sorry if I was rude before. So she works for the front company that was, you know, if you remember our conversation with uh, Chang, uh, mm -hmm. the front company is getting hacked. I do not. So I'm just going to get a little bit of information out of here in case that's the... Agent. Ooh. And you think Chang. Right. I think Chang. Anything hacking? When you... What? Old... N Chatty thing. Did you conf... I told Chang. Never told Old Chang. Man. Do not tell me. I'm glad you were not hurt in the bombing yesterday. Ad Thanks, said Lad. Okay, so we can go into our uh, quest log here and, you know, pick from main missions, side missions, all that sort of stuff. Okay, did you just pick one up from her? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, find the source of the hack here. But I can all, we can also go uh, talk to the Russian mob here and work on getting the Calibrator, which is an item that uh, we can use to remove this pesky limitation that we have on our augments about the experimental augs. So I'm going to head in that direction. What limitation is that? Oh, uh, uh, the, the heat and the 100% the stuff oh, on right. the, yeah. It sounds useful. Uh, yeah, it's, you get the item and then it doesn't necessarily come into play until pretty late in the game. Um, I think there's actually a, a sequence break you can do to get that stuff earlier. There's an achievement based on it anyway, but... Uh... What do you think of Prague as a setting for this? Um, I think it makes story... Like, they've made it make storyline sense. Okay. I don't remember if I have the um, nullify fall damage thing, so we're actually going to climb down this ladder instead of just jumping into the hole. Okay. I think Prague's a, a, a decent setting. It's, okay. it's fine. Um, you know, there's not a ton of variety there because it is just, hey, here's like a bunch of di districts of the city. And, and when you leave Prague, it's typically like you're leaving to go do a set thing and then you come back to Prague. Got it. Uh, yeah. So it's like your, your big kind of set piece missions okay, exist outside of all this. And, so this will be a little more talking, but it'll use the... Um, the speech augment thing, so you see how that oh, stuff man, works. Oh, cool. Okay. He says it to your face. Politely. That Expecting is... John Nakovich to show up here. Oh, yeah. Click. We're closed. Oh, he is not here to gamble, Vanna. Are you? You're Otar? I am Mr. Botcovelli. Yes. And who are you? I'm here on behalf of a concerned third party. Oh, you hear that, Mano? Our guest is a very private person. 
I found it pays to be cautious when you don't know exactly who you're dealing with. That is true. Maybe we should murder all these but people. Hmm. What do you think? Sure. Which could have they don't been look so just, tough. We haven't really shown any it's combat tough. here. And this is going to be a long talking bit otherwise, so... Why don't, why don't you use your talking once, okay, and then let loose. I would like to avoid any misunderstandings. I mean, I could talk my way all the way through it and then just murder them out of, out of principle. So we're kind of keeping track of these things as they pip. That's one omega, one beta. Um, so I think we can kind of choose either here. We'll choose the beta one. I'm with Interpol, but I'm not here to cause any trouble. Organized crime is someone else's department. I'm here to pick up the shipment you're withholding from Vaclav Kohl. Interesting. <laughs> Did... What am I recognizing this from? It's in the, it was in the previous game. Oh. Did Oblivion have similar stuff? Like a mini game associated with talking to people? I don't remember. But I will tell you what I told Kohler. No, you cannot have it's the two alpha. Writer, and you can't either. Dealing with Ogs is bad business. One beta. A point which some people in this organization have yet to understand. I see. You're a man of principle. A businessman. This is really interesting, actually. The only thing I would say against it, and, and sometimes it works a little differently, where like it'll pop up like interrupt triggers. And not quite like, not quite as direct as Mass Effect, but okay. like if you want to engage this system in the middle of a conversation that might not otherwise need it. This is what I am always talking. But the only thing is, is it kind of takes you out of the conversation because now I'm just staring at this thing to watch it pulse. Hmm. How far are you willing to go to help uh, out the front indeed? Yeah, maybe it would be better to just have little ticks at the bottom that you could view after the fact, so you could focus on the conversation. If someone needs my help. I give it. And yeah, like they try to, to try to gamify this thing a little <laughs> bit, but it kind of detracts from the storytelling like a little bit. Always telling him you can get the How is the writing? Just by having a uh, you know, I think the main story, uh, like I said in the review, I, I think the, the overall main story is pretty lackluster. Like okay. it doesn't really go and anywhere. It, it doesn't wrap up especially interestingly, but I think a lot of the side quests along the way are really good. Busted. Cool. What shall we do with such a man? His performances seem Good. What yeah. Cost? A favor. No, oh, we'll do favors for mobsters. Why not? So this is something that we're doing here at the very beginning of the game. But if we do this stuff for him, it makes a big difference for a thing at the end of the game. Hmm. Or, or very late game stuff where like, if this guy's on my good side, I can just walk in and talk to him and go, hey, I need some information. Um... But otherwise, that might be like an hour and a half of murdering people uh, if, if we're not tight. Wow. What if you murder these people right now? Would that be... I think it would probably kill the quest line uh, that I would be on if I were to do that. Hmm. So he lets me go up into his office and I get to pick up this thing. Uh, All right, cool. I've got your Which neuroplasticity calibrator. That's great! I'm gonna pencil you in for that optimization procedure. Just as soon as I'm done with this house call. What house call? I got this other client, you know, doesn't like to be kept waiting. Neither do I, Kohler. Call me when you're ready. So we did that, and then at some predetermined time later in the game, he will say, hey, I'm ready to do this thing, and then we can go get that done. Cool. There are a handful of quests like that where the trail kind of goes cold for hours, and then it picks back up. And it, it, it like every time it happens in this game, I found it super exciting. Cool. It was like, oh man, that thing I did hours ago is going to totally pay off. That's going to be cool. Um, and generally speaking, it is. All right, so why don't we... Let's see here. We'll do this other side mission where we f find the source of the hack. And maybe we'll just go, we'll go hard on these guys and murder them. This is actually one of my favorite side quests in the whole game. Um, this all, yeah. All right. I gave the police a list of all the renters in my building. What did you do that for? Oh, it's across the hall there. Those are cool stairs. 
Yeah, so there are locations like this where you have this, you know, apartment complex and stuff, and like you return here multiple times to hack multiple apartments open because there aren't, aren't that many buildings in the city, uh, which is a little strange, but. Okay, that's rating two. We can do that. This one's a zero, so we can just definitely get that one for free. Uh... Anomaly detected. Uh -oh. Trace program initiated. Come on, this is taking a little longer. We're gonna use a stop worm here to stop that timer. But this is still taking a lot of time. Come on. Oh. Access denied. Ugh. So we wasted our stop worm and didn't get in. Mm. Um. You know what? We're just gonna have to go fight some people for no good reason, which is maybe the best reason of all. So I, this is not how I played this game. This is not how you would play this game. Um, okay. Boy, you uh, took some hits quick. Yeah, you you don't you 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 really take a fair amount of damage from guns in this game. It's it's not. All right, let's uh, let's use this shotgun, which I actually really liked. Good video game shotgun. Huh? It's a great video game shotgun. It's just it was a very effective tool. How about the cover and first personness? Does that work out? All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it works out. You want the cover to get some situational awareness, like, hey, is this guy coming around the corner? Uh, that sort of stuff is useful. Um... Hey. Oh, that gun's empty. That's bad. Hang on. Whoa. Uh -oh. What'd you throw? Grenade. It's a gas grenade. Though. Good old. Oh, okay. Frame rate. Oh yeah. I'll frame me. Okay, there's, there's a drone out there too. There's, there's, there's That's bad. Yeah, that was the smart vision stuff. Okay. Crafting part sweet. Uh, so you see that's uh, last known position stuff. Oh, cool. So, okay. um, so I actually probably could just hide here and let it reset, and then that would there wouldn't really be a problem anymore, probably. Just uh, using the sink. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just using the bathroom. Pointing here. my gun at this toilet. Holster that gun. You ever been in a residential residence? With a urinal? No, but I have thought, wouldn't it be cool? Yeah, I haven't either, and I'm suddenly wondering why not. I don't know, urinals just seem like very industrial toilets, like there aren't things that would be in a house. Yeah. Urinals seem like, hey, here's a toilet you don't have to touch, because uh -huh. it's used by a lot of people. Mm. Uh, anyway, that's the single player mode. Okay. Um, or I'm sorry, that's the story mode. They're all single player modes. Uh, but there's also breach mode, um, which is kind of a VR mission thing that is uh, separate from the story, and you can go in there and uh, you know do speed runs and try to get all the data and level up, and it's a whole separate uh, branch. Uh, Jensen stories. This is uh, this stuff is like season pass type stuff. These are standalone stories. I played through this Desperate Measures one on the PC. Um, it is seemed it, like it was set in the middle of the story and just kind of like... basically a side mission? Yeah, it's weird. Huh. It's, it seems like the sort of thing that probably just should have been in the game, uh, but it's not a great side mission either. Like, there are better side missions in the campaign itself, so... Does that then serve as a place for them to drop DLC? Yeah. Okay. And I imagine this thing, too. Yeah, so this is like a... Uh, this is... You could draw some comparisons to the Mass Effect multiplayer mode. It's like it's got these consumable cards and you can spend real money if you like on chip sets, which is the premium currency. Mm. Is that the best and, value? And then, get, yeah, that is the best value. And then, you know, you can get your premium shotgun ah. for 24 chip sets, which is a, a weird thing to say out loud. Um, 
but anyway, so this is a separate leveling scheme. Uh, you have separate inventory. Uh, I have that's that's me in this mode. Okay. I don't, you know, different like, ogs for a game that like kind of prides itself on being like, oh, this is what the future might really be like. Uh, the notion that this is what VR looks like in their world is weird because VR already looks better than this right now. Well, but, maybe they're know, maximizing. It's a stylish. It's a black market NSN kit, so maybe, yeah, I don't know. Jump dot og. Uh, yes, jump dot og. So th these are mostly the same uh, abilities from. The campaign, they're just, uh, they're balanced differently. So it's like, oh, this one's three points and five points. And all, you know, like they kind of do sort of that. And they prevent you from activating them all at once. You see, I have a, a memory limit up there at the top. Every time I level up, that level goes up. But, you know, the idea is that you wouldn't ever really be able to install all of them at once. Um, all right, so this is pretty early on. Uh, okay. And they want to standardize that stuff because leaderboards... Yeah, but also like you, you know, you can equip these consumable modifiers and stuff to, you know, go in with extra hit points or faster speed. So if you're speed running, they're basically saying like, hey, if you actually want to be the top on the leaderboard, boy, you'd better have some modifier cards. Mm. Uh, and boy, uh, you can use the currency that you earn in the game to get them. Or hey, maybe you want to buy some more. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the idea here is that we're going in and extracting data. Uh, same type stuff, you know, it's like there's a camera, there's, you know, all the same gameplay systems and stuff of, of the main game are, are largely present here. Uh, okay, that camera actually spotted me, but okay, we're gonna hack this thing. We can start it and then walk away, and then that's actually it, and then we escape. Oh. So you have to hack data over a certain limit. You want to get all of it, because then you get the all data thing there, and that's, you know, that'd be good to have. Mm -hmm. um, but then also, uh, you don't always have to get all the data. You just need to get enough to trigger the, the exit. Uh, though some uh, of these missions have different options. Um, this one's an extract data. This one is eliminate units. And these, these all are set in the same level. So like, this is the second board, basically. And you're kind of seeing different configurations of the same landmass or the, of the same level over and over again, which is also kind of lame. Mm. This mode, you know, like, I like the gameplay in this game just fine, but it's, this mode is like gameplay for gameplay's sake. Right. And I think it's not as interesting. <laughs> like, you know, when you remove the, the story, it's just not, I really wish they had given your robot avatar a goatee. Yeah. I mean, that's a cosmetic upgrade they could sell later, you know? Mm -hmm. So we'll hack this data. I don't even think we need to. Um, and we'll remote hack this thing that we're standing on so that it raises us up, and then we can jump up here, hide behind cover. And now we're in a gunfight. Oh, that's some bad shooting on my part. Uh, because we need to eliminate four guys uh, for the for this mission. And now we have, so now we do the same thing of running to this exit and exiting. Hmm, okay. Uh, it does some stuff, you know, it, there are some additional um, objective types in here, and there are also little hints of story that are largely kind of removed from the... So if I hit this reward node, I'll get some stuff. And I think the next one is the first little story bit here. Random items, what are they going to be? The same random items I got last... Oh, no, I didn't have a grenade launcher last time. All right, well, so that's some stuff. So I can, you know, equip that as part of my loadout when I go in. And so this is the Darknet file node, which these, these are some stories uh, that they inserted into this um, that seem like they're maybe optional. So I guess the whole mode's kind of optional. Ready to Darknet be a real file. ripper. The girl? She taps fast. Yeah. Versa life. So then there are some missions that we can take on. Uh, we can actually go in here and you know read the file and get the details, and then it'll point us at... Uh, some of the missions on the grid. Uh, and here we have to collect fragments to, to win, basically. Uh, so you see the gamer tags of other people that are, I guess, theoretically currently playing these missions? Mm. I don't know. Um, and, you know, 
you go on like that. Okay, it, but what's, yeah, the, it, what's the end goal? I mean... I, yeah, I mean, I don't know, run the leaderboards. You know, it, okay. it just seems like that type of mode where, you know, if, you, if you're the sort of person that's into that sort of thing, that, that maybe that would be appealing. But yeah, you know, I like the the story in the main game and, and removed from that, the gameplay is, I mean, I, I like the gameplay when it's in service of that story, but when you remove it on its own, I, I just don't think it, I, I don't think it's it's particularly compelling. Okay. So uh, I, I, this mode seem, does, seems like kind of a, a waste, I guess. Uh, um, can you can you gain upgrades and go back and play a level again? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you can run these levels over and over again. That's why you know you, yeah. So you know, it, for me to get that eight second time, I probably need to equip the speed upgrade or sure. something like that. You know, there's there's that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's Deus Ex: Mankind Divided. Uh, PS4 version I think looks like this, but slightly cleaner. PC version you know is uh, a better looking game um, for sure. And uh, they haven't, it doesn't have DX12 support on PC. I guess they're rolling that out after hmm. the fact. Okay. I don't know if that will make a meaningful difference or not, but uh, that's where I played most of it and thought it was a pretty good looking game there. Cool. But yeah, thanks, Drew. Thanks for letting me check it out. Mm hmm.